morning and welcome back to another vlog. I feel like it's been a little while since I've done a weekly vlog. I think I must have missed a week somewhere. Um, but I have got cakes this week, so I started a new vlog. I'm just crouching down because I've got you balanced on a box and I need to just get ready for the day. So I am transferring my sugar syrup, which I made yesterday and put in a flask. Um, I'm just going to transfer it into my little squeezy bottle um so i can get all that sorted and this week i have a two-tier game of thrones themed cake um mainly centered around the throne on the top so i've got to make that as a topper and then two dragons dueling on it that is a surprise birthday cake so it's been ordered from a friend who can't make the birthday party so he's sending a cake to the birthday party instead which i thought was just really good so the birthday boy has no idea it's coming so we're delivering that to liverpool on saturday and then i have a cake dummy to make which i'm having a very slight panic about <laughs> because the shoot is happening next week i can't attend the shoot so i need to give it to her so she can take it down to the shoot for me i've got to give her that on saturday i haven't started it because i'm putting some flowers on it um and i'm using another supplier who's also on the shoot so everything is nice and matchy matchy but unfortunately they're stuck in the post because there's been the whole bank holiday weekend which cannot be helped so hopefully they will arrive today <laughs> It just means that it's a little bit more last minute. But I can't show you that one, unfortunately. I might film it as a tutorial, depending on how much time I've got. But I can't show you until the shooters come out. But my sugar syrup is now ready. Um, I will pop a link to this bottle below, but it's got all the little holes in the top. So you can sprinkle your sugar syrup on the cakes. And now I'm going to make some ganache. <laughs> until home time but I thought I'd show you where I am up to so I've now got the bottom tier all covered in dragon scales as you can guess this takes several hours because all the diamonds are hand applied I went for like a very subtle green um, for the scales because the two dragons going on it are the main ones from Game of Thrones so you've got the big one is it called Drogon I don't watch Game of Thrones and the ice one um, and then the other one that's missing is, is like a slightly green colour. So I kind of got that in with this one. We've got some like stone effect for the board and it matches the next tier going up. Um, and this one's going to have all the little house symbols on it all the way around. And sitting off to the side is the start of my Iron Throne ready for the top. I will probably start on this tomorrow morning. But I've just got um, a bit of washing up to do, a bit of drying, a bit of paperwork, and then it's home time. Good morning, it is now Thursday. I am up bright and early in the studio. I have my cup of tea ready for me. We finally got out for a walk last night. It's been a long, long time since we've been out for a nice walk. The weather just hasn't been great. It was a little bit chilly, but it was dry, so. Abby went out on her bike, um, and I left the camera in the studio, but I did manage to get a little bit of footage on my phone because at the pond in the park, they have some super tiny ducklings. They don't look tiny on camera because I did zoom in, but they were so tiny and there was loads of them. But it's back to work this morning. Um, you've seen where I'm up to with the cake so far. I'm going to be stacking that today and then making my iron throne. That takes several hours. Hand cutting so many little swords. I do have something new coming to the shop. It's been a while since I added anything to my online shop that was new, but I have these. I've seen these um, pop up on a lot of buttercream cakes lately. Well, any cake, really. It doesn't have to be buttercream. Um, but they're these gold, like, fan sort of 
decorations and you get three on one stick of varying sizes so you can you know add them to design where they fit but they're a nice like they're, they fill quite a lot of space because they fan out and it's that pop of shiny gold um so i'm adding these to my shop i am going to give my brigadiers first refusal <laughs> um if you're a brigadier you get access to new items in the shop and also like, like it's access to a secret shop so in the secret shop there's things that has been discounted things that were available in previous cherry mails that maybe i ordered too much of and then they're on a discount to buy and they also get first dibs on anything new that goes in such as the new designs of rad slabs and things so check the link for the shop just in case there's any left yeah i've seen these popping up a lot it's the end of another working day i had to break off obviously for dinner and i had an appointment which was literally like three minutes long so i will show you where i got up to so not very far um the iron throne obviously it takes many many hours to put all the hand cut swords on and things I just have to touch up that with a little bit more airbrushing and I have all the houses or at least the ones that I was given on a list. Um, I made these pretty subtle in these tiny little circles because these aren't the main kind of point of the cake. The main point of the cake is the throne and two dragons and because the dragons are going to kind of be like sitting here and here maybe it's going to take up a lot of room it's going to hide these so these are more of just like filler decoration so i didn't want to go too detail heavy because i want the detail to be in the dragons and i don't want to draw your eye away from the dragons so i've put them on long banners and left them quite plain and then just put the house symbols in there and i got round to putting the name on the board so yeah slow day but i've taken the decision to stay so i'm going to pop home for tea and then come back and start work on the dragon i know i've got all day tomorrow i've got friday a whole day to get two dragons done but i feel i would feel better if i made a start on the dragons today thursday night is usually food shop night um but we've decided not to go because we've got lots of things or we're going to be somewhere when it's tea time so it's pointless going out buying loads of ingredients and then not being able to use it because we're here there and everywhere so tomorrow night we're actually at the circus um they were practically giving tickets away so it was like well for six quid never been to that any type of circus like that before so i thought we'd give that a go and this was booked way before the cakes were booked so i want to make sure that we've got enough time to do the circus which is why i am working tonight i don't want to be panicking and then tomorrow, uh, Saturday, we're delivering this cake and we're supposed to be delivering the dummy cake. I am stressed. <laughs> I'm not having a very good day. Nothing particularly has gone bad, but I, like my head is full of a list of things that need doing. And the dummy cake is one of them for the shoot. And the dried flowers still haven't arrived yet. Um, the poor dried flower ladies also panicking, but it's not her fault. They are with Royal Mail. They've been with Royal Mail a while. She's given me the tracking number. They've just not even attempted a delivery yet. So we're assuming they've got lost. She's going to send some by 24 hour delivery. Um, but I haven't made a start on the cake yet because I need to see the flowers before I start the cake. So I know what colours are going to fit. Like I know what colour the whole cake is supposed to be, but I want them to actually work with the flowers. So I wait until I've got kind of all my elements first and then build the cake from there. So yeah, it's just a little bit stressful. But let's go and get some tea and then we'll come back and start a dragon. Pizza consumed, dragon started. Although it is now nearly nine o'clock and I am ready to go home because I am just not feeling it. <laughs> it's taken me all this time to just get like the outline shape of the dragon. Obviously I need to put his wings on but I thought he needed a bit of detail first before I got to the wings. But this is where I'm up to. <laughs> As you can see, I've uh, marked in the little holes ready for his teeth to go in, but I've just been hand applying each of these, I guess, scales, horns. Lots more still to do to try and turn this into what he's supposed to look like, but I'm getting there. But I've only got the working hours of tomorrow to get him finished and an entire another dragon down here. It's the next morning and I'm about an hour into the working day. I have the wings on and a few more spikes and I'm just about putting the teeth in. <laughs> it's a very slow and fiddly process. So I have a ball of pale yellow. I'm just rolling 
some tiny pieces that have points on either end, chopping them in half to make two teeth, sticking it to the end of my Dresden tool, and then attempting to insert it into the tiny holes that I made in the gum. So now he has four little fangs and I've got to do all the way around the top and all the way around the bottom. I am finished. I can't believe I'm finished. It's 3 p.m. We have the iron throne on the top, the flags are in the middle and the dueling dragons for fire and ice. Give you a little close up, but I'm going to go live in the Cherry Brigade in a second. Sometimes when I've finished a cake, I'll go live and talk them through what I've done, what I've used. Obviously, they get an advanced preview because this vlog goes up far later than today. <laughs> um, so the recipient will already have the cake and everything by the time this vlog goes up. But the brigadiers do get an advanced little sneak peek. Well, here are all the little individual teeth and some little scales. They're still um, a bit wet, so they're a bit shiny as well. But yeah, chuffed to have this one done. Um, however, <laughs> I went home at dinner time to see if the postman had been and he hasn't been yet. Um, I'm still waiting on those dried flowers. I'm supposed to be delivering the dummy tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to email her again. This is the second time I've moved the date and I absolutely hate being that person that constantly changes things around like, oh, I can't do this. <laughs> Sorry, my eye is twitching. <laughs> yeah, I hate being that person that constantly has to move things around and annoy everybody or everybody's plans. <laughs> um, but it can't be helped. They're just It's just Royal Mail lost the first lot. Um, they're still not here and she sent some more by 24 hour track so i'm hoping when i get home they will be there <laughs> if they're not i don't know what happens then um but i'm going to try and get the dummy delivered on sunday instead i should have been at a baby shower on sunday so we've got the circus tonight we've got the cake delivery tomorrow that's going to liverpool and then we had a baby shower on sunday so i'm gonna just have to shift things around and work some extra hours um, just to see what, what I can fit in. We got a new kitchen gadget. It hasn't ever been used yet. We're about to use it for the first time, but we got a deal. Mrs. Hinch actually put a cord on and it got 50 pounds off the Ninja Foodie Max Dual Zone Air Fryer. This is the bigger one, 9.5 liters. And we have been wanting to get an air fryer for absolutely ages um it's going to help anyway because obviously i use the oven for cake so when there's a cake in the top oven a cake in the bottom oven <laughs> it means somebody can still actually eat something and make something uh for dinners or teas or whatever um but it's supposed to cook everything a lot quicker um which is going to come in handy because we're always in a rush we're either off on a cake delivery or we need to be somewhere so yeah we got 50 pounds off i'm not sure if the code um, will still be valid i think it will only valid for like three days but keep your eye out for any more codes that pop up um but yeah it's been highly recommended this one i only watched one review on youtube and adam saw that it did all these fancy things like you can sync the cooking so it's got two drawers you put something in this one put something in this one even if they've got different cooking times say like 20 minutes in this one and 10 minutes if you sink it it will hold one until they're both ready at the same time so you'll open this one that has been on for 20 minutes and this will hold it for another 10 minutes and then start so they're ready at the same time so it's got all these little fancy things and Adam was just sold straight away so he went to Iceland last night while I was working um, and picked up all the frozen foods so I thought we are going to be eating a load of junk food uh, but we're going to air fry all the frozen things so these are the strips from Iceland um, and air fryers have got that popular now that it actually tells you how long for air frying on the back so usually it would just tell you how long in the oven but now they've got an air fry version so you can see it takes like 20 to 22 minutes in the oven but only half of that in the air fryer so this is uh, hopefully going to come in really handy 
So we've popped some chicken in one drawer and some chips in the other and now we just need to program it so that they're finished at the same time because these take 12 minutes and they take 20 minutes. So I think I've done this right. 12 minutes and 20 minutes and then sink them. Oh. Right, so it's going to cook. Started cooking the chips because they take 20 minutes and these are on hold until these are almost done. We had a nice bit of downtime after work. We went to the circus. I don't know what I was expecting because I've never been to a, like a travelling circus before. We've only ever done the Blackpool Circus in the tower. But I was expecting it to be round because the tent is round. But it was just like a little square stage. But for like six quid we got to see absolutely all sorts didn't we mm. there was jugglers there was trapeze people trapeze people <laughs> motorbikes in a cage and i don't know how they managed to fit three in there without them crashing into each other but they did but that i thought that was really good for six quid mm. obviously we had like half price tickets because we used um planet offers to find them but I just thought I just I just booked it and thought well we haven't done anything like that before so we ended up doing that and it was really good. We came home, decided we were still a little bit peckish, so put some garlic mushrooms in the air fryer. Um, now when we've done garlic mushrooms in the oven, all the juice from the mushroom usually leaks, it makes the batter soggy and then it sticks to the baking tray. So you end up with like half covered mushrooms because the rest of the coating is always stuck on the baking tray but we put them in the air fryer and they came out absolutely perfect all nice crispy round fully covered mushrooms you like your air fryer don't you yeah <laughs> but, <Ta -da> -num -num. <laughs> but now it's oh well we watched um we've just watched 30 best moments of eurovision because it's eurovision next weekend and we usually um, watch it and get loads of food in and have like a little mini buffet sat watching it. Euro um, buffet. A Euro buffet, but we have two cakes next week, so we'll just have to see if I've got um, if I get them done on time and if we can work that around the deliveries and whether I've got them finished on time. But that's next week's problem. <laughs> we've got this week's problem. Um, so we're going to go to bed now because we've got our delivery to Liverpool tomorrow. And my dried flowers did arrive, but they've gone to the neighbour next door um, and they weren't in when we called for them. So I'm hoping I can get hold of them tomorrow um, and then try and get a dummy cake done when I get back from Liverpool. Afternoon. It is now Saturday. Um, cake delivery went absolutely fine. Found the address, got there on time, dropped it off and then came home to attempt to get our parcel from next door. So... As you know, I've been waiting for some dried flowers and they got d dropped off with the next door neighbour because it was a 24 hour like rush delivery. <laughs> and I still haven't been able to get them because they're not in. So I could actually see the box in their porch. We just can't access it. However, I did come home to the first box that went missing. So the first box that was sent by first class that should have been here within a couple of days actually only just arrived this morning. You can't even write this stuff, can you? I just got a cloth. So I have come back into the studio and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a reset because it's still a mess from the dragon cake I have just completed. So I'm gonna give this all a wipe down. It's all full of um, airbrush color. And then I'm going to start work on this dummy cake. Now I should have delivered this dummy cake today. <laughs> yeah, it's all just been a little bit of a nightmare. But I'm gonna make a start on it anyway because she's gonna need it at some point. Um, and I'm gonna film it as a tutorial. So I'll show you in a second the dried flowers. Let me clean up first. I don't know if you can see like this white circle where my turn turntable usually sits. You can see like the mist of airbrush colour around it. So I've got all this to wipe down and then all my mat is obviously full of little offcuts of dragons. And a heck of a lot of washing up to do. I just found out I can pair my laptop with my radio. So I've been blasting a bit of Harmonious out. Um, but I have to pause it, otherwise it's too noisy. I'm going to show you some dried flowers I have. So this is my hefty bunch. I have 
two deep purple spears and then lots of lilacs, oranges, peaches. There's a bit like a minty colour as well. So this is what I'm going to be working with in a second. But I am so glad to have these. Um, obviously I'm going to try and get my parcel from next door and then I can give them all back to her because she will eventually need them. But I love these like floaty type ones. These add a nice background. And we've got some grasses. Yeah, nice mixture of colours here. And we've got some like, um, these like poppy seeds, aren't they? Seed pods. These are nice as well, little fillers. But you won't see the finished cake just yet and you won't see me making it in this vlog because I'm going to be filming it as a tutorial. So you're just going to have to keep your eyes peeled over on my socials. You can follow me on Instagram at Cherry Cake Co. That's where I use social media mostly really. I'm always over on Instagram. As annoying as that platform is. And it's the platform with my least amount of followers on. So I have more followers on Facebook and YouTube than I do Instagram. Yet, I still love using Instagram. So please come on over. I constantly post on my stories. So if you want to see what I'm getting up to when there isn't a vlog or I've gone quiet, I'll probably be over on Instagram. But I want to get this done because I want to be on the couch tonight. So I'm going to crack on and I don't know what I'll be doing in the next clip but you'll find out in a couple of seconds. Well, you know what this means when I'm sat at my desk, it means I've been editing the vlog and realized I haven't filmed anything or ended it. So the lovely neighbors came around and dropped off my other box of flowers. We went and delivered it to Rochdale, like a halfway meeting point on Sunday morning. Then we went and got Abby's PE shoes from Bury and we made it to the baby shower. So everything was coming up Mill House. We actually managed to get everything done we needed to. And it's actually Tuesday today. Monday I usually finish the vlog, but it was another bank holiday Monday, which meant Abby was off school. Kai isn't actually here, he's in Rome. He's back in Italy. Um, he's gone to Rome with college. So he won't be back until Thursday now. And Abby's back at school this morning, which means I have the house to myself again. I'm gonna get a few little bits done today. I'm actually going to carry on filming this week and turn it into another vlog so this is the end of this one and then in the next vlog you'll see me probably still wearing the same clothes i'm in my hellfire club t-shirt today and as always i have a robe on because it's always cold in the house it's not too bad today and i'm starting to bake a wedding cake or the wedding cakes for this week huge thank you to all the brigadiers who placed an order for cherry mail or ordered those gold fans i have since put them up in the public shop so they are now available for everybody to buy they went up in the shop yesterday i did sell quite a few so feel free to go and check if there's any left but usually when i put something in my shop it's like I'll, I'll buy a book amount and then when it's gone it's gone it doesn't usually come back to the shop unless i can get my hands on it again and unless it sells very well so all the links are always below in the description box to find my shop and my websites and my other socials um and one thing i've forgotten is i know in the last couple of vlogs i was showing you the bedroom updates um it came it came to a grinding halt just because of life. <laughs> Cake work kicked back in. Um, it's not 100% finished yet. Like the decoration part is kind of done. It's the finishing touches. Like I've just got an empty plant stand waiting for a plant because I can't find a plant that I want to put in it. And I want to kind of everything to be done before I then show you the final thing. It's a bit like showing you a cake that's nicely iced, but doesn't have any decor on it. <laughs> yeah, my mission is to kind of get the bedroom finished a little bit so then I can show you what it looks like. But thank you very much for watching and please do leave a comment. I've noticed like socials has become a place where a lot of people watch or a lot of people see and just scroll past and forget to comment. And I cannot tell you how important it is to comment. <laughs> Not for just like the algorithm, obviously commenting and things helps the algorithm and helps for their stuff to be seen but personally people who are editing reels and they're taking hours to edit videos or reels or pictures and things they feel like they're talking to themselves when they don't get a little bit of feedback huge thank you if you are one of those people who comments on every video you don't have to comment on every video but if you are a silent lurker please do just put an emoji or something so i know you've seen it um, I know there's people watching and enjoying them, so then I will continue to keep filming them. 
But yeah, huge thank you to everybody who always does that or always gives it a little thumbs up. It is much appreciated. And I'm going to carry on now, roll this into another vlog. So I will see you then. Thank you.